today I'm going to show you how you can bring some lift into your life to enjoy all kinds of plants off the ground for next to nothing. So here is the issue. I have little dogs. I have this little dog especially. And I want to plant and keep things kind of off the ground. Not necessarily want it on the deck itself. But I do get these floral pots that you can go to your favorite florist. Ask them what they're doing with these because a lot of these come with the flowers and these are basically disposable. And if you can find the florist, they will give them to you. But you can always get a bucket, some cheap buckets for a dollar at the dollar stores. And you could do the same thing I'm going to do. I'm going to make a stand to keep Kitty out of this. And what we're going to do, I sat here kind of contemplating. How am I going to do it? There I had an old cake stand. I'll show you that plant. I put a cake stand on there. And though it's nice, it can tip over. It wasn't my favorite thing. So after Kitty and I sat here for a few minutes thinking, I figured out how to do it. And then we'll have a nice container lifted up. And you won't have to bend this far on number one. And number two, I'll keep your little dogs out of what you don't want them to get into. All right. So here I'm going to show you how I've been making these. These have been fantastic. Let me show you first what it looks like. There it is. It is just simply two pots, two trash cans, two or whatever you want to use. You've got to make sure that the base fits. Now let me explain how I made it and so you can make it and then we'll talk about a few other things. This is going to be basic because I am doing so many more things with it and I don't want to make this a long, long video. So let's start out with the basic put together. All you need to do is get two plastic containers. The first thing you want to do, believe you me, I've gone through the trial and error, is hot glue them together. Once you have it in the position that you want, just get a hot glue gun and put it together. It's not going to hold it, but it will hold it for you to do what you need to do. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to make holes inside. Now, before you make the holes, let me tell you, you can use zip ties, brass, paper fasteners, nuts and bolts, wire, whatever you want to use to put it together. But you, it's going to be too hard if you don't glue it. So hot glue it first. Once it's hot glued, make your holes. If you're using a zip tie, you're going to want to make two holes fairly close together. So you can slide in the zip tie between both of the containers, bring it back. You will be working with your hands inside. And then once you bring it back, you can zip tie it on the inside. If you're using a paper fastener, you'll make one hole, you'll push it through, and then you'll reach your hand inside, and then you will open the paper fastener. If you're using wire, same thing like the zip tie, make two holes so you bring the wire in, and you bring the wire out and then you twist it. If you decide to go with nuts and bolts and there's more other things you can use, then it's just simply dropping it in there after you made your hole with your soldering iron, you drop it in there and then put your nut or bolt on the other side. Now, let me tell you something. When I use zip ties, I like to at least put three and they're, they cost literally a penny. So I put maybe three, four, whatever you want, put multiple zip ties inside. The same thing with the paper fasteners. What I like to do on the paper fasteners is I have some going one way opened and some going the other way opened. Wire doesn't matter, just put a couple different areas with the wire. Just in case one gives away, you'll have the security of knowing it's still put together by having at least three. And the same thing with the nut and bolts. Think about what's going to work for you. Now keep in mind you're saying that's not really going to hold. This container holds no weight except for what's going in it. When you lift it, you're lifting it with whatever you put in it. Let me show you this way, like this. There's no weight. There's no pull on the bottom. So you don't have to worry about when you put the zip ties together, if the zip ties going to hold that weight. There's no weight down here. The weight is where you're lifting it. And that is all there is to it. This has been fantastic. Now, the other thing is you can go to, I went to Dollar Tree. And they've got multiple trash cans. These are trash cans, a dollar a piece. For one dollar each, two dollars, you've got a beautiful stand. Now, you can plant in it once you put it together, straight in here. You can put the holes where you want. That's why I said there's a million things we're gonna do with this because you're gonna see this all over my gardens. 
You can put the holes in it so it will drain well. We'll just talk about that today. Or you can take your plant and you can put it inside and take care of it that way. If you want to use this on the inside of your house, because these are beautiful, what you can do is have your plant in one pot. And after you put it together, if you don't want to have any water in your house dripping at all, you could go ahead and get a third one and then just drop it inside and then put your plant in. So if you're watering your plant in the house, it's going to be caught in the top one. You'll need three if you're going to do that. But for outside, this has been fantastic. I absolutely love it. It's given lift to all my plants. And you'll see, it doesn't even have to be a trash can. Here's a container I got. This is a Halloween bowl. I've got the holes underneath. I've got behind me some cabbage growing in there. You can grow anything you want. You can set these up. I've got lettuce in this one. I've got collard growing. You can grow carrots and radishes. Probably one tomato plant when spring comes back. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can start seeds in there. The sky's the limit on this. It, it creates lift. You can sit down and take care of your plants. You don't have to worry if you've got a wooden deck. If there's water, you can move things. You don't like the way it is. Move it around, rearrange it. You can create lift in your garden. You've seen that already in my garden, you know, on the beginning of the video where I can move my flowers around. My zinnias were all the way on the ground. You couldn't even see them. Once I created this, I created lift. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is like so cool. And remember, there's all different styles and sizes. If you have a Daiso, we have Daiso here in Southern California. They carry tons of these in all different designs. The main thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this will fit good and try to look for a base. See, this is a little wider than it is on the top. I've had the dogs running around. Nothing has tipped it over. But like I said, we can get into a lot of things on this. And this has been fantastic. They're gonna be all over my deck because they're so versatile and so easy to set up. I've got some directly planted in there and then I've got some in pots that I can pull out and move. Remember, the only weight that's gonna be on here is down here. So try to get one that's, well, I mean, this isn't that sturdy, sturdy enough to hold for what you want and that is the only weight you're gonna have. As far as setting it up, you can set it up all kinds of weight. And you know what, when we come back, I'm gonna show you what, on another time what we can do with a plate what we can do with a square container and what we can do with a third bucket but we're going to leave that for the next one because right now i want you to think about will these work for you in your garden because i'm telling you they're going to work all over my bird garden they're going to work in the vegetable garden the chair gardens they're going to work all over the deck because i'm going to have full control as to where i want to grow my flowers my vegetables, I can move it around. Well, it's just so fun. It's like a puzzle. You can create all kinds of height and depth and everything with it. So I hope I've given you an idea. Ask questions because I've got my mind is going crazy with this on what I'm going to be doing. So be sure to ask questions. And then this way we can get this going for everybody. Even if you can only do gardening in a chair, we're going to make this where this is going to work for everyone including water, same thing like I do my totes. You can have the holes higher, lower. We can do all different things. Oh, there's so much. So with that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. I'm so crazy about these. I love these things.